The College of Journalism at the University of Nebraska hosted a rigorous competition for their students with a lot of money on the line. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Pierce Gorlett has more in tonight's top story. That's right, Katrina. 20 college students went out and had to tell a story about the forgotten places on the UNL campus. The University of Nebraska College of Journalism hosted the Philip Perry Photo Challenge. 20 UNL students competed against each other for a $10,000 scholarship. The students all shot and edited 12 photos in an effort to tell a story about the forgotten places across campus. Innovation Campus and how it's the least known campus of the three. Um, I focused on a group of engineering students who were asked to create draft toys for the Lincoln Children's Zoo's new exhibit. For the challenge, they all started with the same photography equipment and they were put on a strict nine-hour deadline, simulating what it's like in the professional photography business. Um, it's pretty stressful. Uh, you just kind of have to think about the fun part of it, um, worry about the stress later. That'll, that'll definitely come with time. For the administrators, seeing these college students working hard to improve as photographers is inspiring. As the dean, it's so exciting for me to see all this great talent. I'm used to seeing very talented students um, on the air, uh, listening to them, and, and this visual work that we're seeing today is extraordinary. Everyone involved in making this competition happen is from UNL. We've got not only our current students, but our faculty, our staff, our alums who are serving as judges, our donors, everyone co-learning together in an incredible experience. Even though they are competing for a large amount of money, this challenge is about much more. Winning would we mean the world to me. Um, if I were to win, then I know that I'm doing something right because I would really love to be a professional photographer, and that means I'll be getting noticed by the community. The winner of the competition was Sabrina Summer, and the story she told was how gender can be forgotten on a school campus. Tonight's top story. Thank you, Pierce.